Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today we are going to talk about healing in present time. For those of you do, who don't know me, my name is Lisa Warner, and I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for hopping on. Glad you have internet today. <laughs> For anybody who, who comes on, drop me a little note. Let me know that you're here because I can't always see who joins. So, hi, hey, Mary. Thanks for hopping on. Good to see you. So today I wanted to talk about healing in present time. Time is a little bit odd because we live in present time, yet... Our mind is you. Hey, Brenda, no, nice to see you. <laughs> anyway, normally our mind exists in the past and the future. We hold attention points in the past and in the future. Gee, that didn't that didn't feel good when that happened before. I didn't like that when that happened. I hope that never happens to me again. So we've got the past and the future. And these, these things that happened to us that were really uncomfortable, that we didn't like when somebody yelled at us, when we were shamed or blamed or guilted, those things don't feel very good. And we really don't want to repeat those things. And we really don't want to look at those things. So what happens is we end up throwing those things in our backpack. And we say, you know what? That really didn't feel good. I'm just going to kind of pretend that that didn't happen. And I'm going to put it back here and I'm going to assume that if I don't touch it back here, then it's just going to be like it's not there. Well, we keep throwing these rocks in our backpack and we're walking around with attention points in the past and the future all of the time. Because every time something reminds us of that thing that happened in the past, it pulls on us. Uh, we feel that magnetic charge. And we go into fear. We go into reaction mode. We start to, we start to live in the past and the future going, oh my gosh, how do, there's that thing again. I thought that I was all over with, but oh, here it is again. Now what do I do? I don't want it. And and we end up living in reaction mode. But the problem with that is that we are creators. We're not reactors, we're creators. And when we're running around in reaction mode, we are not in creation mode. We create from our intentions. And we always have the best intentions, right? Like we intend to have a healthy body. We intend to be happy. We intend to live a good life with good relationships and have a good job. And, you know, we intend all of those things. But it's those things are not always the things that show up in our reality. And why don't they show up? Well, because we're in living in the past and the future. We're in reaction mode. And when we have an attention point placed in the past where we're worrying about what happened, hoping that it doesn't happen again, or we're afraid that it will happen again in the future and we're in fear, that's where our attention is. Our attention goes to the worry and the fear. And what happens is the law of attraction gives us exactly what we place our attention on. So our lives in this very moment are the culmination of our attention points. This is what the universe has said, oh, I see that this is what you would like. And when something is in our life that we don't like, we try to get rid of it, but we can't get rid of it. Why? Because we are not in our point of power. We're not able to let that attention point go. So when we are in an attention point that says, I'm not okay, or I'm in fear, well, guess what? The body is in that attention point with us. So when we're in fear and we're reacting, 
the body is also reacting to our fear. So the body has its own set of responses. So whatever's going on in your body that is unwanted, right? That's your body's fear response. That's the way your body is responding to the fear that you are embodying, to the not okay, to the, uh-oh, something's wrong with me. So then your body reflects that back to you. So how do we change all of this? Well, we have to get into present time. Because in present time, right now, right in this very moment that you are watching this, are you okay for right now? You may have all kinds of stuff going on in your life. You may be facing some disease or, you know, some life challenge. And you know, that's okay. It happens to everybody. But right now, right in this exact moment, for just for right now, are you okay right here, right now? Let's take a breath and just kind of notice. Like, like, yeah, like for right this moment, I'm okay. Well, what if you could live in this moment of, yeah, I'm okay. What if you could live there all the time? If you were living in this present moment of, yeah, right now, I am okay. Everything is good. How would that change your life? And how do you think that would change your body? When we're running around in that in past and future, we're in reaction mode all the time, and the body is then living in reaction mode with us. So the body is reacting to our every thought, our every emotion, our energy. So everything that is being created in our physical reality is being created from our own energy field from our own thoughts and beliefs and assumptions and conclusions, our own doubts and disbeliefs in ourselves. When we are infinite beings, and when we can remember that, we can start to change things. We can get out of, hey, Donna, nice to see you. Thanks for joining today. When we remember who we are, when we remember that we are infinite beings, we can start living in the present moment. Because that's the only moment that we can notice who we are. When we get into that present moment, we can get into that moment of balance and harmony. We can get into that moment of stillness that moment of alignment with who we actually are, that moment of inner knowing, that moment where we can access our soul level wisdom. We are body, mind, and soul. But when those three things are not in harmony, then our lives are not in harmony and our health is not in harmony. Our, our bodies are not in harmony. So the only place that we can get all three things back into alignment is in the present moment. All healing happens in the present moment. We can't heal our bodies sometime in the future or sometime in the past. Why? Because neither of those actually exist. The past is over and done with. It's already gone. It doesn't exist anymore. And the future has yet to be created. So the future doesn't yet exist. But this present moment is where everything exists. This is where you exist as a infinite being. 
you and your soul, you as your soul, exist in the present moment. So just bring your attention back inside for a moment. Take a couple of nice deep breaths and feel that breath in your body. Feel that breath come in and notice the weight of your body on the chair. Just notice how your body feels sitting on your chair. Notice where your butt makes contact, where your back makes contact to the chair. And just take a couple of nice deep breaths. Do you notice that the energy just got a little bit quieter? Do you notice that in this moment right here, everything is okay? Like for right here, right now, everything is fine. When you can access this moment in any moment you choose, this is your point of power. This is where all healing happens. And when you can stay in the present moment, when you can be in full presence, you have access to your soul level wisdom, your soul level awareness. The mind thinks, the mind goes back and forth between the past and the future. The mind is constantly in motion, but the soul is present in awareness, in inner knowing. So this is your point of power. This is where you have access to universal wisdom is in the present moment. And when you learn to be in the present moment, the entire universe opens up and you have access to universal flow, to the flow of universal energy. And you can use that flow to your advantage. You can use that flow. You can direct that flow into your body. You can bring that flow in through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, through your third eye, through all of your chakras. You can start to manage the flow of energy through your body. And you can use that energy to heal yourself, to consciously heal your body. You can use that energy to activate your pineal gland, that third eye in the center of your head. And you can use that to start turning on the dormant parts of the brain. You can start to activate more of your brain so you have access to more wisdom and more knowledge. But you can only do that in the present moment. So if you're ready to start healing yourself permanently, because when you can start accessing yourself in the present moment, you are accessing your infinite self. You are accessing your soul self, the part of you that does not die, the part of you that is infinitely okay, <laughs> that lives in infinite well-being, that is an infinite well being <laughs> when you can live as the infinite well being that you are then you can stop worrying about the past and the future you can stop dragging your past with you you can actually let it go and letting go of the past letting go of all of that baggage is actually way simpler than it's ever been made out to be. When you can get into this present moment, you can start to notice 
that the past doesn't exist. And you can start to let it go. And you can move your attention point away from what happened in the past or what you think might happen in the future. And you can bring your attention point back into the present moment. So when you are ready to take your power back, to live in your point of presence, in your point of power, where all healing happens naturally and organically and simply. I have a course that is now going to launch in, Jan in January. It is called Awaken. Heal yourself by being who you truly are. And it is designed to bring you into the point of presence and make your point of presence your default setting. We're going to take eight weeks and every day I will be in the Facebook group with you in this private Facebook group where I will be giving you reminders and pointers to help you bring your point of attention back into the now moment and to show you what is possible healing wise in the now moment. You have infinite power at your disposal. You have the power of the universe at your disposal. But you can only use it in the present moment. So what would it be like if you woke up in the morning and you felt that you had the power of the universe coursing through your veins and that you could use that power to heal yourself, to rebalance yourself, to draw things to you that you would like to experience. We are creator beings. We are here to create. And we can create in the present moment. So are you ready? to be in the present moment and to really heal yourself once and for all. Once you know how to bring yourself back into balance, you can bring yourself back into balance at any future now moment. <laughs> Anytime you can bring yourself back into balance. When you develop this skill, it is a skill that can be developed. And it's not a difficult skill. It is incredibly simple. And it's even fun. What if healing could be fun and simple? What a concept, right? <laughs> this is what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to give you this experience starting in January. So I will be taking signups until the course starts. So you have four weeks to get yourself signed up for this class. It is an experience. There will be weekly classes, one class per week, one teaching per week, plus one Q&A session per week where you get live hands-on teaching and training. There will be some private coaching as well. But for eight weeks, we will go through and we will make the present moment your new point of power, your default setting. So you can remember who you truly are and you can heal yourself and your life once and for all. Because once you have this skill, you will never lose this skill. And you can use this skill over and over and over again. And every time you use this skill, the skill expands. And you start to notice more and more and more opportunities that are available that you've never seen before. This is an infinite universe. And we have infinite choices. It is time to start having way more choices than we've ever had before. So are you ready to make healing simple and fun? Are you ready to take your power back so that you don't have to worry about the past or the future and you can live in the present moment of well-being? 
if you are ready to do this, please reach out to me. I will pop my um, appointment calendar link in the comments below. Please schedule a free complimentary 30-minute session where we can talk about what is possible for you. I'm going to show you how to get enrolled, what this course is going to do for you, and set up a vision for your future so you can see that you can achieve the radiant health and well-being that you truly desire because it is much, much simpler than it has ever been before. There's more energy coming to this planet for us to use than ever before. And once you know how to power, harness the power of this energy, you can heal yourself because you'll know what to do with it. So I look forward to hearing from you. Let's make 2020 the year of clear vision where you can see yourself clearly as the well-being you are. Let's make 2020 the year of transformation for all of us. So this is... Lisa Warner, I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. And if you are not in our Facebook group, if you're watching this from somewhere else, please come and join our Facebook group. It's called Soul Sourced Healing. We'd love to have you in there. Everybody in the group, I'm in the group all the time. We can ask questions, get your questions asked and answered. I will, te I will do, I do live trainings like this each week. So please feel free to come and join us. But in the meantime, schedule your free complimentary 30-minute discovery call to discover if Awaken is the right next step for you. So thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> Till next week, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now. <laughs>